I just I need to get this off my chest real quick and I hope that this will be a blessing to anybody out there that has been questioning whether or not you should get out and speak the Word of God share his love with people his grace and his mercy there's been many times that I've questioned and people say well you shouldn't question God well I think God wants us to be like the faithful Bereans who don't just accept anything blindly there's been a lot of times where I have questioned why is it that this gospel which is so important why does God leave it in the hands of sinners to spread it around why doesn't God just pop up and say hey um, I made you and I made the whole universe I made everything in it I'm really quite beyond comparison and beyond comprehension and I want you in my family I sent my only begotten son to the earth to die for your sins he paid for that atonement he took the bruises and the pain that you deserve for your sins upon himself so that you could have life eternally with me and him in one big old family why is it that that message which is so crucial and even to the point where you know why God doesn't say accept Jesus or you're gonna perish or you're gonna die why doesn't God himself just show up or Jesus just show up in his glorified body and just tell everybody because if Jesus shows up everybody will just know I'm telling you as a believer and I believe this is why God doesn't just show up in that manner when we have Jesus in us we become more and more like him while running that race and in sharing the good news with people it not only helps them blesses them but it changes us it changes our hearts towards God and it changes our compassion towards others it's only when we are actively out there portraying the gospel in a positive light and blessing others that we are truly blessed by God and if and like Jesus said if you love me if you love me you will keep my commandments and he says and this command I give you that you love one another as I have loved you and we look at the the love with which Jesus loved his disciples it was love unto death on a cross he became a curse for all of humanity past present and who will live in the future no greater love has a man than to lay his life down for another and while we were yet in sin while we were still sinners evil people God spilt his own blood to redeem us it says that you know somebody might die for somebody who's righteous perhaps they might even dare to die but definitely not for somebody who's a sinner and yet Jesus so loved the world God the Father so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son and Jesus does only what he sees the Father doing Jesus is love God is love and when you get out there and you're spreading that good news that the God of the universe that made all things seen and unseen loves you that much that he was willing to die suffer be brutally tortured before dying on a cross he became sin for us so that he could condemn sin in the flesh and redeem us God of the universe wants us so much that he's willing to bring heaven to us the kingdom of heaven to us as Jesus prayed and taught us to pray pray that the that 
what is occurring on earth would be as it is in heaven. Get out there, people. If you believe in Jesus, stop discrediting yourself and acting like you don't know enough. When we look at the gospel of Paul, Paul said, uh, you know, I, I determined to come to you and preach nothing but Christ crucified. Paul was a highly educated man. But he said, you know what? All of that is rubbish in light of Christ. If you know Christ, if you know the love that he's shown for you and you've experienced it firsthand, that's all you need to minister to the world, a dying world that needs the truth. And I promise you, when you get out there and you speak the truth, speak prophetic words over people, blessings on their life and not cursings, God will change you and you will experience him firsthand. God bless you. Have a great day. Get out there.